Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, my honey's crafts, and I'm Deborah. Thank you to my positive returning subscribers, and welcome to my new sub subscribers. I'm glad you're here, and a big thank you for supporting my channel. Tonight, I'm coming on to tell you about hashtag Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge. This challenge is hosted by Christian's Crafty Adventures. I will put her link describing her video down below. Basically, it is a stress-free challenge. You can create one or as many embellishments projects you want. No time constraints or deadlines to meet. Totally up to you what you would like to create. She does give us a schedule if you would like to follow for the month of July. You can post to your YouTube or Instagram or both using the hashtag Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge. And PHA is an acronym for Paper Hoarders Anonymous and anyone can join. Just watch Christiane's lives or videos and you're in. So, you are welcome to join and have fun preparing in advance for Christmas without the stress. And I underline without the stress. Now let me show you what I have created so far. So I created some felt tassels. I didn't know how to do a tassel and I viewed her, her tutorial on it and she explains it very well. And I have to admit, the first tassel I did, I didn't know if I was going to make any more. It was awkward to me, but the more you do it, the more you practice, it gets a lot easier. And I'm able to do these relatively easy now, which I'm glad. And I think these are so pretty. I just love the, the gold and the reds oh this is a this is a bag topper this is from Mary Days I did the rosette put a chipboard piece a scallop I made the tassel so I already had my tassel prepared and that says fa la 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 fa la la <laughs> and so I used the paper the scrapbook paper because I wanted to coordinate with the both Falalas. So this is going to be a bag topper with a tassel. I think that came out really cute. Here's some more uh, tassels that I did. This one has uh, washi tape on it. I don't have a lot of washi tape, which I got this gold ribbon at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for 99 cents. I had hauled it a while back. And I got these beads at Hobby Lobby. I like that uh, felt paper. I don't know if you could tell it has glitter on it. And then I did these two. I don't have a lot of beads. I have to go on BB Craft like everybody's doing and order some beads. And then I created this rosette. I got this paper at Tuesday morning and it's Yuletide. That's what it's called. And this is just a strip from the top of the pad that I cut off. You know, you don't use, it's perforated. And then I just cussy, cussy, <laughs> fussy cut um, this poinsettia. <laughs> now I got the giggles. And then here's another rosette I created. And I just fussy cut the girl and the tree and this is from uh, a paper pad and I just backed it up. I think this is so pretty. I uh, fussy cut the tree. See, I popped it up, made the rosette. And would you believe y'all, I fussy cut that star right there. Unbelievable, I did. I punched this out. This, there's this snowflake. It's a whole 12 by 12 paper of, of these snowflakes. 
and I just took a punch and cut it out. This was some scrap paper that I have. I'm sorry I keep on getting out of frame. And there's my embellishment that I made, my tassel. Here's another one I did, rosette, and I just fussy cut that out. This, this is coming from Yuletide that I got at Tuesday morning, Yuletide, Bow Bunny Yuletide. I've done a Christmas stocking, an ornament, and I just went ahead and backed them up on cardstock so they'd be like a like a chipboard. Here's a star. There's a lot of fussy cutting. Here's a bell. I need to make some more rosettes. A snowman. And I don't know what this is. Okay. Oh, it's a present. It's a present. And then here's the deer. I just got tired of cutting, so I said I'm going to call it quits. And here's some more uh, tassels that I've made, which they're very easy. This part is real easy. Well, the other part is easy too now that I got the hang of it. There's a, a whole 12 by 12 paper that has words on it that I cut out. They're tiny. They're tiny words. Spirits bright, merry and bright. Tis the season to be jolly. There's all those. I have all these right here. And it's a whole 12 by 12 sheet. I want to back them up on some paper or a cardstock or paper or whatever. But here's a snowman. I thought that would be cute. I have a punch that I used for these snowmen. I got the punch at Tuesday morning. And so can use those. I got this snowflake punch and I punched these snowflakes. This is on snowflake paper. This is a blue, a blue snowflake. Here's some more. I found this paper that I've had for years and years. I don't even know where I got it. I don't know if you can see what color it is, but it's beautiful. This is on a strip of paper. It comes from some paper pad. I just cut one out to see how it how it look. There's snowflakes that I'm going to show you is using this paper. It's so pretty. I used this punch at first, but I don't think it likes the glitter part. And it got stuck, but we were able to get it out. My husband helped me. But it came out really nice. I have a die cut snowflake, but it's so intricate. Oh my goodness. And then here's another one. I only, I only did two of that glittery paper. There's one. And then I said, well, you know what? I can make circles and little flowers. So I made a punch little flowers. I don't even want to throw that away. I'll just hide it, somehow hide it. This paper is so pretty. And I just, I couldn't stop couldn't stop cutting. I did a bunch of them. They're so pretty. I want to use every bit of it. It's so pretty. This was, you know, the strip that you throw away. It says Christmas on it, but I thought it was so pretty. I didn't want to throw it away. Here's another burr. That's a, that's a long, that's a 12 by 12 a burr. Here's some more of the snowflakes that I used on, on this rosette. I did these flowers. I did those. And this is a paper. It's like stamps. They're like little stamps. And I said, wow. I could cut those and use those individually. Here's a little tree that I 
fussy cut from a paper. Here's a poinsettia, some ornaments, a stocking. See, and I used that right here. I added that stamp. This is like an 8x8, I think, sheet of paper. I did some trees. I have a tree punch. And I just got a gel pen, and I put some snow on the tree. I think that came out real cute. And I didn't color this one. It's just a different, a different green. Here's another green. And these are some, it's a Christmas tree paper. This is also a Christmas tree paper. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I need to make some more rosettes. Turn it off right now and I'll be back in a minute.